Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tolerant. We are working on the electrical again. I know it's redundant, but we gotta get all of that stuff done. Um, I'm working on the second floor. The cans that we set last week, I'm trying to connect all the wires and put the light switches uh, in places where they need to go so that we at least have the direct lighting finished in the second floor. Um, I don't think we'll get it all done this week and I have no power in the second floor yet so I can't really test it but um, I might uh, set up a temporary solution like I did in the first floor up with an extension cord but we'll see if I get to that. Thanks! For all the people that are wondering if the windows held this time when we fixed it up, yes every one of the windows still has the styrofoam and the bracing on it um, and as you might be able to tell in the background, I don't know, um, it is extremely windy again here the last few days. Um, I can really hear the wind. Obviously, I don't have an insulation. I have a lot of windows that are missing, uh, but I can really hear the wind pounding on the house, on some of the siding that is loose, on the windows that um, obviously are old where there's some play. You can just see, hear them rattling the whole day. Um, and if I would have that the windows even more open than they are obviously this is not um, airtight everything um, it would probably be even more uh, even colder in here today than it is um, it is again frigid um, we are in the low 20s again today so it is uh, a cold day i just want to make some progress again um, i will not be filming tomorrow um, just because it is um, the fifth, sun uh, fifth Sunday of the month and every fifth Sunday um, me and a few friends of mine um, we usually try to play board games so I am gonna be preoccupied based on that. Okay, for the people that are wondering um, about how many light circuits I have on each floor and everything, let me explain a little bit in detail. Um, light switches, I only, or lights in general, per floor, I will only have one circuit. Um, so all the different light switches, can lights, chandeliers, um, hallway lights, all of that stuff is going to get onto the same um, circuit that is fed through one box that I have um, that just connects everything into it. The uh, reason why I do that is you might say, oh, what? Well, there's way too much overload. Um, yeah, if I would do traditional lighting, yes, but since everything is gonna be powered with LEDs, all my cans um, really just draw somewhere between eight and 12 watts. Um, the amount of wattage that I will have in, in that entire box is so low that I wouldn't even theoretically need a full uh, 15 amp um, circuit for it. But obviously since I uh, do want it to be on a circuit and I want it to be the dedicated circuit for the lighting um, instead of just uh, being on another circuit with like the rest of that room. The reason why I don't want to do that is so that you don't lose power when or that you don't lose lights when the power goes out in a in a room so when you trip a, um, <clears throat> when you trip a breaker in a room because you have to, you're overloading it with too much power let's say you put a, sp a space heater and maybe even a second space heater on and it trips the the breaker obviously because you're drawing too much power the lights at least stay on so therefore um, I'm pulling, I'm putting everything onto a dedicated light circuit in the entire floor and I'm doing it per floor. So even if the light um, or the entire breaker for the entire floor falls out, I can still have lights in the rest of the house. So uh, that's kind of the reasoning. And I always have one box, uh, a gang box like this here 
Um, this is facing towards the hallway, at, not towards the hallway, but towards the um, closet. Um, I have to put it into a box. I can't just connect wires randomly. Um, I want to put it uh, somewhere centralized so that I don't have to go to one end of the house and then continuously go to the other side. So I'm going to put the box where um, it starts from always pretty central and then obviously we just close the box. Um, and then in addition to that, I have, let me show you. Um, for example, in Elias's room, here have an example where I have a double switch and then I have um, another switch to his hallway, uh, to his uh, closet further down the line. And basically what I'm doing is instead of just always home running to that same box that I have close to the breaker, um, I, in this scenario, just hang them daisy chain on each other because it's obviously draws so much, uh, so little light or so, so, so little wattage that I don't have to worry about it. And so that, for example, then this, this box just becomes a distribution box for this area of the house. So I have one distribution box in a centralized area close to the breaker in the middle of the house. And then I have a another set, uh, then I have sub distribution boxes uh, in usually the double ones where I might hang a closet in uh, onto the main room on ma main bedroom also, just to not have to run so much extra wire to the main spot. Um, so one of the things that people might have pointed out in questions or have uh, <clears throat> so one of the things that people have been asking a lot of, about is for example I have always a lot of things in certain walls I have a lot of electrical wires for example and um, plumbing wires uh, plumbing in um, for example here in the laundry slash bathroom wall um, and so people are wondering, so how are you going to guarantee that you know where you're going to uh, be able to drill and things like that in the future? Um, before I'm going to close all the walls up, I will take pictures um, and with measurements on them so that I can really find again in the future where I know exactly where everything is. Um, all of those pictures are going to go, depending on what um, it is, into for the electrical, for example, I will hang those all um, into a binder and then they also get a, a floor plan and that binder will go into the breaker box for that floor. So that way, um, anytime you need to do something, you will know exactly where each one of the wires goes. If you want to have that detail, where um, what uh, breaker exactly has all each wire on it so that um, you know, in case you needed to open the wall and you're just wondering uh, where's this wire coming from and things like that. Um, furthermore, I am labeling all the cables as they're coming into the breaker box. Um, I know it's not necessary potentially, but it's just nicer to just know um, even in the breaker um, right there when you have it open and you might not have the labels right there because you took the, um, the whole panel off, then you will still see right there where each one of those wires goes without um, extra figuring out um, and just doing testing.
Another thing that I'm not sure is, is the laundry room. We have the laundry room right here and there will be a door that opens from the right here to the left. Um, and normally I would just put a light switch right to the right when you walk in, of course, because you open the door and you would want to have a light switch right here. The problem is I don't really have the space to put a light switch because those two studs don't allow me to put a box in between. Further, there's going to be a closet right um, in between this section, so I don't have the space. So I have either the option to just try and kind of measure from where the door opens and if it opens all the way to the wall and put the light switch somewhere like right here on the end of the door when you open it all the way you can hit the light switch or putting it outside um, so option two would it put, put it outside so you can turn on the off the light as you're entering the room still and then option three would of course be putting it somewhere on this wall as you're coming in you just have to make one step and turn the light on um, neither of them are 100% convenient and I'm not sure which way I prefer. So leave us a comment with option one, two or three uh, for the laundry room. What do you guys think would be best? I tend to be pushing a little bit to option two with leaving the light switch outside the room. It's just an inconvenient of course um, when somebody walks by and then um, you're maybe doing something in the laundry room and uh, pranks you by just turning off the lights.
Another thing that I did today that I updated that I still have to do in the second uh, in the first floor down there is I bought some of those extra mounting brackets instead of just putting all the wires with the uh, nails on the studs here um, organizing it a little bit especially in the area right below the breaker um, it's just easier to find your wires and put them in and mount it and especially since there's going to be a lot of wires this is not the complete set yet um, having extra space is nice and when you eventually run out of space with putting them all next to each other I think it looks better and it's just a better organization so I have one question that, I'm, that Julie and I are debating on what we want to do. Um, so I'm here in the landing area in the second floor um, of our staircase, of our main staircase, and we are trying to debate where we want to put our chandelier. Um, we know we want to have a chandelier that kind of hangs somewhat into, um, at least at somewhere at this height, probably even lower, um, we are not sure yet kind of what chandelier or anything, but we just want something traditional uh, looking. Um, but we are not sure where we should mount it. If we should mount it centered based on the entire room, so it would fall right there in the middle of where there are both railings on the staircase that you're coming up and also at the top, uh, the railing would fall, would fall right in the middle of that opening and we could obviously extend it all the way down to the floor um, in the first floor or if we should center it based on the railing here and the wall over on the far side um, so it kind of hangs centered over the railing that um, that is the stair part uh, the stair part uh, stair casing coming up um, right there um, obviously there's advantages on with disadvantages of both but we are just not sure it kind of obviously the chandelier would be more off center the advantage of it putting it further to the to the words the wall and would putting it more centralized over the staircase um, or the stair railing would be that it wouldn't be as easily touched from up here when you're walking by the kids play um, and probably lean and it would be further away so it would be more out of the way um, if we put it um, right there center in the middle of the room obviously the center chandelier depending on its size will be probably pretty close to the railing itself so you can probably touch it uh, very easily and try to swing it so advantage it being a little bit more out of the way and the kids won't swing it versus um, it being more central in the room which kind of makes it probably aesthetically more pleasing so what do you guys think central of the room or central of the opening um, for the staircase itself. Well, I think this is it for this week. Um, see you guys next time. Bye!